Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can quickly use application parts to create a database, how you can save objects into application parts to be used at a later date. So firstly, this is the end product of what I want to show you today. I'm clicking on create, I'm in a blank database. I'm going to the applications part area and down the bottom there, I've got a course database that I've saved into this application parts area. And I'm going to click on it and it will load it up and give me two tables, one of courses, no information in there, and one of customers. Like so, ready to go. These two tables are also linked. If I go to database tools and select relationship, they're already linked up. So that's what I've created. And if I close this down in application parts, you've also got some preloaded tools. So these quick start options, for example, contacts, if I click on that, it will drop in a contacts database with all the elements of it. If I just follow the wizard through so you can see that I'll just create it. See all these objects have now dropped in. You've got a contact database ready to go just by clicking one simple option in there. Now these ones at the top are just blank forms that you can also generate. You can just click on them and utilize them or use them as a starting point. But these ones at the bottom are actual databases, as is this one. Now the one I created didn't have any data in it, but you can save these application parts with data as well if you want. But let's go through it, let's get into it and let's create a new one from scratch. So if I do that in a blank database, uh, just gonna pick a blank database, I'm not gonna name it, create, it's just going in documents. Okay, now I don't need that table there. What I'm going to do is create two tables and link them up with the structure, not putting any data in, and I'm going to do it through table design. So first one's going to be um, customer ID, and this is going to have an auto number field. So then I'll go customer name and just bang the fields in. I'll just, I'll just pause it and I'll just add the fields. Okay, so I've just added some fields there. This is going to be the primary key, so I'll just click on that as a primary key, and I'm going to save the table as TBL customers. So TBL customers. That's the first table done, so that's what all I need to do for that. Close that one down. Click on create again. Um, table design. This one's going to be courses. So course ID is the primary key, and that's going to be auto number as well. And I'll just fill this in. So those are the fields. I've got a calculated field in there. I'm just going to save this as the primary key. So that's the primary key for this one. Save this table as TBL courses. TBL courses. Uh, okay. And I do need to add something. I just need to add the customer ID, which needs to be a number field, like so. Save that again. Close these two tables down. Just need to check up in the customers table whether I did that, set that to a number. I can't remember what I did. I set that to a number, so that's okay. So now we're ready to do the links. Go into database tools. Drag these two on, courses and customers. There's no data in these tables, as you can see. Um, but the link is going to be customer ID to customer ID. Enforced referential integrity, one to many link. That's what I want. Create. So now I've got the structure, save that link, close this window. I've got the structure, now I can add this to the application parts area. And to do that, you need to go file, save as, and then you need to pick this template option. Before you click on this, you make sure all the objects are shut down, otherwise this will be greyed out. So once you click on that, you go save, and then basically you give it a name. So I'll call this um, training database and then you can put some description in there category user template so that'll sit at the bottom of the application area and then you've got this icon option you can put an icon in there I'm just going to click on that to search for an icon uh, some random thing I'll pick thumbnails off um, YouTube other YouTube videos if I can get on the thing thumbnail and then access calculations I don't even know what that one is but there's a picture of it um, I don't need a, you could put a preview one on there, but I'm not going to do that. Primary table in this example is, if I click on it, um, 
it doesn't give me the option there just need to tick that first and then you can get the primary table which is customers that's primary table for this and that's important that you tick that so it goes in the right area you don't need to tick this option or select this option there's no forms anyhow but that, that's all I need to do for this now if I click OK your template has been successfully saved okay to that now if I go and look at create application parts that's the database I've just created that's the one I showed you earlier but if I if I click on that that will just drop that database in um, follow the wizard through create it and then it is dropped it in double doubled up because the same name so if I create a, a new blank database and show you that from scratch so you go create application parts click on the database structure okay it wants me to close that that's it so it drops it in and if I go to database tools create re relationship I don't need to create it because it's already there so these are now just ready um, to have data inputted there's just a blank table a very very quick way to get a structure ready to use for a team really cool application parts so hopefully that video was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one